There's a lot of ways to make cold brew uh, with like fancy devices and really complicated recipes. But what I'm gonna show you is a really simple way that I make cold brew concentrate at home. It takes a little while, but in the end, I think it comes out really good. So what I have here is four ounces of coarsely ground coffee. And I'm gonna pour this into a mason jar. You can use whatever container you have at home. I just happen to have one of these available today. And then I'm gonna add 2.5 cups of water. And then I'm gonna give it a good stir. Make sure all the grounds are saturated. And then the lid goes on and we're off to the fridge. All right, I'm gonna let this sit overnight. Um, I think eight to 12 hours is a good range of time to shoot for. Um, honestly, I haven't noticed much of a difference uh, if you end the steeping process early or late. Um, so this is actually a really good recipe for those of you with a busy schedule. All right, so it's tomorrow and I have our jar of coffee that's been sitting overnight in the fridge and I'm gonna pour it through a paper filter. I'm using a clever dripper here, but you can use pretty much anything that has a paper filter. Uh, V60s work good for smaller amounts too. Um, if you have a Chemex or like a number six sized filter cone, uh, that'll make your life a lot easier due to their capacity. Uh, you can also experiment with metal filters, but in my opinion, um, paper filters give cold brew a much better taste. And once you have all of your coffee in the dripper, you can walk away and do something more important than watching coffee drip. After letting it drain for about half an hour, you're good to go. Go ahead and store your cold brew in the fridge and it'll be good for a few days. This amount usually makes about four or five decent sized cups for me. All right, your patience paid off. Here's the part you've been waiting for. Uh, pour your cold brew over some ice. Drink it as is or add whatever milk and sweeteners you're into.